Hi everyone, my name is Christine Chege. I work at Azure Southern Africa as a solutions engineer. I'd like to welcome you back to a series of short videos where we are looking at how to set up developer accounts and developer credentials. So for this video, we will majorly look at how to create developer credentials in the ArcGIS location platform that we just created previously and the developer credentials tool is a tool in our portal that allows us to create and define the properties for a developer credential and <coughs> you can create a new set of developer credentials for each application that you choose to develop and each credential will have a specific set of properties that support the type of authentication you are implementing and the type of functionality required for your application and we can use the developer credentials tool to first of all create API key and auth 2.0 credential items for your custom applications we can create a client ID and a client secret we can define the privileges for a credential that is API key and app credentials only we can also define the items a credential can access we can set the expiration date of the API keys that we choose to create also we can set the redirect and referral URLs so to start us off I'm going to create a developer credential and this opens up to a new tab that is the content page of my ArcGIS online my ArcGIS online account or my ArcGIS location platform account and so to create a new credential click on new item and then I'm going to select developer credential that allows me to create API keys and auth 2.0 credentials So I have two options to either create an API key credential or to create an auth 2.0 credential and the two options have different functionality for example the API key is valid up to one year it can be embedded in your custom application outside the ArcGIS environment you can also define the property of the credentials for the auth 2.0 it's you it is defined by <coughs> signed in users account uh, you can use it to dynamically create um, user sign-ins and also it's viable up to two weeks but that can also be refreshed so I'm going to create an API key credential and then go to next And then I can set the expiration date for this particular API key and remember I mentioned that it it is valid up to one year so I can even set it to expire in October say 28 that is exactly one year from today and then I can choose to if I have an already existing application so I can add the URL to that application from here so since I don't have one yet I can leave this as blank and then I'm going to go to next and then I can set the privileges that I want this API key to have so for example if you want to enable the S3 base maps if you want to enable places such that anybody can search through places and get location services from that if you want job coding services enabled routing if your application is going to include um, providing routing or navigation services you can enable that from there also if you are looking to have <coughs> data sets with elevation you would set it from this as well so if we look at the summary we can see that for this API key I am enabling all location services then I'm going to go to next and for this part is 
um, grant item access. This that means is that you can limit which content or which application or which data sets that are in your application um, that that API key will be able to have access to. So currently, because I just created a new account, I don't have any items to um, grant my API key access to. So I'll just keep this. So I can add a title to my developer credentials. So for this one, let me just call it developer, sorry, let's type again. Let me call it S3 developer. And then to which folder do I want it to be saved to? I have my root folder that is CCHEGA2024 or I can create a new folder and let me just call it developers. If I had tags, I would add that. And then a summary, I can just say that this API key is to be used for accessing location services in in my in my application and then once I'm content I can click on next so just for summary we can see the title we can see the privileges that have been granted to this particular API and then I can go to next so uh, it's asking me to generate the API so I can either generate the API key and go to the items detailed page and also I'm ready to copy and save that key or go to the item details page and then I'm going to generate the API key later so I'm going to click on the first option and then go to next so what that has done is that it has generated that API key and all I need to do is copy this API key and I can save it for example in a notepad or somewhere where I'm not going to forget and then I'm going to click close and then I can see that I already have my client ID and secrets so tune in to the next video where we will be looking at how to actually use this API key in an application. Thank you.